Now that we have an image reflected into our lamp, what I like to do next is put in another layer of solid reflections over that. These reflections could represent light sources such as open windows, doors, and even light from the lamp itself. By layering these reflections, we'll create the illusion of even more depth and shine into the body of our lamp. The first step in doing this is to create some paths that represent the shape of those reflections. To save time, I've already created a couple that I've named lamp reflections inside the path palette which should be relatively easy for you to copy. Just create paths that roughly conform to the shape of the lamp, like the two you see here. Small on the left, large on the right. If you get into trouble, just open any of the lamp illustrations inside the artwork folder marked 9 and above. Then select and copy their paths and just paste them into this illustration. However, I do want to create two other paths in addition to these so that I can demonstrate using the ellipse tool as another way to create paths. If this were a real lamp, the top part of the lamp body that curves inward would most likely reflect the inside of the lampshade and the light bulb, especially if it were lit up. The two reflections would basically translate into two elliptical shapes. A large ellipse for the shade with a small ellipse inside that representing the light bulb. We could create these two paths with our pen tool, but for geometric shapes like these, it's much easier to use the set of tools just to the right of the pen tool which include the rectangle tool, the rounded rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygon tool, the line tool, and the custom shapes tool. In this case, I'm going to use the ellipse tool. With the ellipse tool selected, I want to go up to the tool options and make sure the path option is the one that's selected. That's the middle button. Then, click and drag anywhere inside the illustration to create an elliptical path. Size and shape at this point is not important. However, as a quick side note, by holding down the shift key, you could constrain the path to a perfect circle. Now, grab the path selection tool, the black arrow, and click inside the path to select it. Then, use free transform, command T, or control T for a PC to squish it and size it so it fits inside the top part of our lamp body. When it does, hit the return key or enter key to complete the transform. This will represent the inside of the lampshade. Now we need another smaller elliptical path inside that to represent the light bulb. There are a lot of ways we could do that. We could just repeat the steps we just did. We could copy and paste, then transform. Or, the way I like to do it is simply hold down the Option key, Alt key for PC, while still using the black arrow, then click and drag inside the path to duplicate it. Then, like before, use Free Transform to reduce it in size and place it inside the other path. And we're done. We now have all the paths necessary to put in our solid reflections. Now create a new layer and call it Solid Reflections. Place it above the layer containing the Degas painting. Using the black arrow select the two side paths and the larger of the two elliptical paths. You can do that by holding down the shift key and clicking inside each path. Go to the path palette options and turn them into selections with a zero feather radius. Make white the foreground color. Get the gradient tool Select Foreground to Transparent. Choose the Linear Gradient, set on Normal Mode, at 50% Opacity. Then, starting outside the upper right of the lamp body, 
click and drag at about a 45 degree downward angle, stopping at the left edge of the lamp. Let go of the mouse and deselect. Now all we need to do is put in the reflection of the light bulb, which we'll pretend is lit up since that's what we're going to indicate in the final steps of this illustration. Again, using the black arrow, select the small ellipse this time and turn it into a selection. This time with a feather radius of 3, which will give it sort of the illusion of glare from a really bright light source. Just go to the Edit menu and fill in the normal mode at 100% opacity. Deselect and save.